Let's jump into our seven-day real estate update. In the last seven days, there were 1,320 new listings. Now, I don't know if you remember, but for the last year or so, we had more homes go under contract pretty much every week, Atlanta, pretty much every single week than we had new listings. And guess what? It happened again, and it happened for the first time since probably October. I have to go look and see. First time in a long time. But 1,320 new listings came on the market. 1,790 homes went under contract for the week. That means almost 500, 450 homes, 470 more homes were put under contract by buyers than were actually listed for that current week. There were 963 closings, which is kind of slow, but don't worry. You'll continue to see that grow and grow over time. And what I think is the most significant number of them all, there were 1,283 homes that had a price decrease during the last seven days, 1,283 homes. What does that mean? That means there is opportunity for sellers who want to list homes. There's opportunity for buyers who want to buy homes. I will tell you that I believe that the opportunity for buyers will be better over the next four to six months than it will be in the second half of the year. And the reason I believe that is because you cannot hold buyers back from buying houses even if the interest rates are higher. And what's going to happen is there is a large number of buyers sitting on the fence in Metro Atlanta waiting to buy a home, waiting for interest rates. And what happens is when a certain percentage of those decide, you know what, it's time to buy. I'm going to get off the fence. I'm going to get in the game. Even if rates are in the high fives or low sixes, it makes sense for me to buy a home. Because in many cases, in fact, in all cases that I've ever analyzed, you know, it made more sense for someone to buy a home than to rent a home. Now, I'm not saying if you're going to live there just a short period of time, it makes more sense to buy because that's a lot of exposure. But if you're going to live there for an extended period of time, it may make more sense for you to buy than for you to rent. 